Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a foundation review. I am so excited about this because as soon as I saw Sunday Riley was coming out with a foundation, I already knew it was mine and mine. Sunday Riley is known for their absolutely amazing skincare line. This guy, the Influencer Foundation, is a cross between makeup and and skincare. I'm gonna go over all the details of this foundation like I always do and then we will jump into the demo and my final thoughts will be at the end. This is not a first impressions so I already have thoughts on this and I will insert little clips of me wearing this throughout the day. This is what the package looks like. It's this little squeezy tube but it does come with a pump. It retails for $42 and you get 32 milliliters of product, so more than average. Right on the bottle, it says clean, long wear foundation, natural looking, long wear, lightweight feel, satin matte finish, and medium to full coverage. It is <laughs> this word free, <laughs> synthetic fragrance free, talc free, gluten free, paraben free, and cruelty free. It also says clean, natural looking, long wear coverage that doesn't disappear even through workouts, humidity, or days you are feeling extra oily. <laughs> Satin matte finish that doesn't dry out as the day or night goes on. Quick to apply, lightweight, and easily buildable. On the Sephora website, it actually has a skin type for you instead of being just for everybody. It is for normal, oily and combination skin. I am personally combo, so it does not say that this is good for dry skin. Let's go ahead and apply this bad boy and then we will get into my thoughts. I don't have any primer on the outside of my face, but I always do on my pores, and as always, those will be listed down below. Now I'm gonna go in with this sponge from Sonia Kasha. Tiffany told me about this. Well, she didn't, like, she didn't specifically tell me, but I was watching her video. <laughs> this sponge is amazing, like I've already ordered more. Love it so much. So I'm going to take this and we're going to apply the foundation. This shade is a little bit darker than what I need and it's a little bit yellow. I'm yellow, but this is more yellow than I am. However, like it's about to be summertime. I'm going to get darker, so I'm not worried about it. So I'm quite yellow, quite dark, but other than that, like the finish on this is so beautiful. I'm going to zoom you guys in before I finish off the rest of my makeup. So on me, before I set this, this is a satin finish. I cannot wear this without putting powder on top of it, but this is look this is what it looks like on the skin beforehand. All right, makeup is completely done now, and this is what it looks like. It's really smooth. I love the way this looks on my skin. So as far as the claims go, I'm gonna go through those one by one and tell you how I feel about them. Natural looking, definitely, if you don't have like this much makeup on, it can definitely look natural, but even with it on my skin right now, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't look heavy. It looks really good on my skin. Long wear, absolutely. I'm gonna insert some clips of me wearing it throughout the day, but this does not break up on me. It does not move. My pores never look bad in this foundation. It doesn't accentuate my dry areas either though I haven't worn this when I've had any kind of actual patches. I've worn this several days in a row, and the longest I've worn it is about 12 hours, but even then, we're still looking really good. I can get a little shiny on my chin and on the pore area, but nothing that I can't just blot away and the makeup still look amazing. If you are dry and you wanna try this out anyway, I feel like you probably could wear this, especially if you use a sponge and you prep your skin beforehand, because even around my mouth where I'm more dehydrated and dry, it really doesn't look bad at all, and it doesn't start looking bad throughout the day either. If you have dry skin and you do try this, please let us know how it works for you down below. Lightweight feel, 100%. Like, even with all of my makeup on, like, I did not skip anything, and this still feels almost like I have nothing on my skin. I will say that I tried to build this up one day, and I didn't like it built up on me. It just felt a little heavier. But if you just put one layer on, it works perfectly well. I use three pumps, pumps and that goes all the way down my neck. Satin matte finish, 100%. Like before I even saw that claim, that's exactly what I thought. And even after I put my powder on, it's definitely more matte, but it's not a dry looking matte. Medium to full coverage. With a brush, you definitely get the medium right off the bat. With a sponge, you can actually get light to medium and then 
Obviously you can work it up to full, but like I said, I don't really like to build this one up. I am actually absolutely head over heels for this foundation right now. I absolutely love it. I definitely suggest trying it out. The only thing I'm a little iffy about is the color. This is definitely too dark for me. I will keep this one for the summertime, but I think I might actually go ahead and go grab another one. This 150, I feel like is more along the lines of like NC25, NC30. So this is a little bit too dark for me at the moment. I might try like a more neutral shade shade because when I start getting darker I don't love the yellow tone in my hair. I don't know it's just something about it that I don't love. So my final verdict with this is a big heck yes two thumbs up. I am loving this. There wasn't a single day that I thought eh, I don't know. It was beautiful every day that I have used it. But that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you picked this up or if you are planning to and what your thoughts are and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.